Hello again guys, it's Carly from The Poetry of Nice and I have my weekly haul video for you guys. I um, hit up a couple of yard sales today and one estate sale which was 50% uh, off since it was Saturday. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just dive in and show you everything I picked up and I'll let you know how much everything cost, where I found it um and where applicable what i plan to sell it for and where i plan to sell it so here we go um everything's kind of jumbled up so i'm just going to kind of jump in so this was from a um a yard sale um and it cost me two bucks this is a glass pitcher that goes with it it's got a very specific shape to it i don't know if you can see that um Here's the mig. This is very mid-century um, and it's in a harvest gold color. It definitely needs a good cleanup. What I will probably do with this is rather than sell it as is because it does not go for very much, I will be parting it out, especially this lovely gold pitcher here. Um, so that's what I plan to do with that. And uh, like I said, two bucks. I will definitely be making some money on that. Um, at the estate sale, I found uh, this. It's like a wooden desk tray like you would use for an inbox or to store papers. Here is the label. It says uh, is it Weiss with a W, like German. Anyway, well, it says made in the USA. Anywho, <laughs> it's in good shape, but it is slightly distressed. That is not something that puts me off. I think that's pretty much quite a cool look that a lot of people appreciate. And I paid, um, this was 50% off. So, well, everything at the estate sale, I will say, evened out to about a buck 40. So I'll just say I paid a dollar 40 for this. Um, and I just sold one of these recently for $30. So I was pretty happy to find that. Um, next thing, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but this ended up being a dollar 40 as well when everything was evened out. And obviously it is so rusted. It's a mess, but it's really cool. Like it's, I don't know, I, the appreciation of it took over and <laughs> I bought it. Um, so it's got all these kind of like cool graphics and a lot of inserts and stuff still inside. This whole first aid kit is completely unused. So I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to try and learn a little bit about like tackling rust or how to kind of revive this to the point that it still obviously has that patina to it that's putting it lightly i know um but they would still be a cool decor piece so this is gonna be kind of like my project my learning thing um so you know we'll i'll let you know how that goes i will let you know um okay next thing is i just got a few of these vintage cards they are all bird cards um, they are from a set which was Mountain Birds series number three and there's only three of the cards in there but what I'll do is just kind of lot them together and sell them as is. People use them for crafts. Um, got a, this is by Hallmark, this is a um, like a recipe binder. It's in great shape, really good shape. Uh, vintage as well. This will go on Etsy and eBay. I have sold them on both platforms and um, they are very cool. I don't think they ever use this really really lovely all right um i got a few wooden frames this one i thought was really nice you can see this kind of edge to it here and then i got one that's more of a plain one and then one that is just like slightly decorative these were all 50 cents a piece although well no i took them out so yes 50 cents a piece <laughs> and i'm going to keep these for my house i'm going to go ahead and paint them and distress them and use them for our family photographs on the wall and um, got a vintage a uh, poker set so you see all these poker chips i've not gone through and made a count of everything but it's really nice it's still in good shape there is a few little scuffs and scratches here and there but that was okay the original price on it was ten dollars but like i said a buck forty when everything's evened out and it has some very cool um like playing cards and stuff i'm saying that's cool like horse racing i don't know it took my fancy i thought it was cool i've sold i've never sold one of these before like a poker set i have sold a lot of like the backgammon sets um but i figured why not try it it's it's nice and people play poker right so we'll see i'll let you know how that goes um okay these caught my eye they were asking eight for them but it was 50 percent off so four dollars again buck 40 when everything was evened and they are like these little brass hunting horns and they are napkin rings um, which i thought was really cool i just sold just picked up one of these like the big brass hunting horns i picked it up for a dollar and it sold in half a day for thirty dollars um so i figured i would try my luck with these little guys these napkin rings um a lot of good keywords for those to do with like rustic uh, rustic sorry home decor um and then like british hunting fox hunting that kind of thing so i'll see how those go um dollar 40 for those 
this I just thought was super cool. This will be going on Etsy for sure. It's got a lot of crazing, a lot of crazing. <laughs> um, but it's like a little girl having a tea party with a cat. I don't know. It kind of screamed Etsy at me, but I, I thought it was very cool. So just a little vintage wall decor piece. Um, these were just a couple of random old cards that came like stuffed into books and stuff. So what I'll do is put them aside and I'll just make a lot of like vintage scrapbooking materials like paper supplies. Um, and then when I have a big old bundle of those, I'll pop them up on Etsy. Waste not, what not. <laughs> um, another thing for a book 40 these binoculars they are pentax they are made in japan i'll let you just see them down in there um, i'm probably going to put these on auction so the prices i couldn't find my exact ones and the prices are kind of all over the place anywhere from like 20 dollars up to sort of 60 70 dollars these are in really good shape and obviously still have the original case and the original box with them so i will probably do auction just to see how i do with those um let me jump back here got a bunch of vintage playing cards with these were all things left behind right at the end on a saturday that people just had not picked up everything i'm showing you and this is the kind of stuff i love so technically these were all 25 cents a piece but again parted out a dollar 40 so these kind of cocker spaniel playing cards these little ones with some cartoon characters as townsend I have to look into that artist and then some vintage Disney ones. So there's all kinds of different uh, Disney characters. I see uh, Mickey Mouse, Pluto. Anyway, all kinds of different ones. What I will probably do is part those out by character and maybe sell them like 10 at a time. We'll see. Again, scrapbooking supplies. That is not a full set that's there, but I will be selling them as scrapbooking supplies. Um, okay, I got this little... Mickey Mouse is there, Walt Disney Productions, uh, just like a glass dime, but it's good quality, definitely good quality. Um, so yeah, book 40. Excuse my dirty hands as well, by the way, I've been doing DIY all weekend, so I'm covered in paint and wood stain and everything else. Forgive me. Um, pick this up, uh, they wanted five, I offered three. Um, as you can see here, this is the brand Jema made in USA. It is a child's toy piano. It is in good shape, apart from the keys are ever so slightly loose, but they do all play and it's all in tune. Um, again, they are sort of mixed prices, but some of them can get up there for these little vintage toy pianos. And I could not find a green one, especially in this sort of grand piano style. So uh, I guess I'll do a bit more research. I'll probably cross post that one too on Etsy and eBay. Picked up these cowboy boots for a buck 40 as well. I thought the design was just really cool. It's like bird with a heart. Um, so it says inside, Sears, <laughs> but I don't know if that's like recent Sears or a while ago Sears. Um, if anybody has uh, anything they want to share on that, please do let me know. But I got the sizing and stuff in there. I am assuming that they're leather. I can't find that anywhere either. Um, I'll have to do some more research there. Usually if I cannot be 100% sure that they're leather, I will not put that in my listing because, you know, fair's fair, right? But they are, they're good quality boots. And it looks like the bottom of them as well. It's like a leather sole. I see all the stitching there. Um, so yeah, I'll give them a real good clean up and we'll see where we can put those. But I'm sure I will make more than $1.40 on them. That's, <laughs> I'm positive about that. Um, picked this up just because I thought it was cool. It's from 1918, which I always think is awesome when something has survived that long um, now it is a bit of a mess check it out inside can you see the tops of the pages there but none of the text is affected which is cool and this is like a little sort of christian take with you uh, book for soldiers from 1918 which i don't know some people collect this kind of stuff right and i just i had to grab it and save it i loved it um a few vintage children's books anywhere from like the 40s up to the 60s so we've got oscar otter and these are in good shape by the way really good shape um technically all a dollar each but i'm going to call it a dollar 40 since we parted it out um this one is gorgeous <laughs> look at these illustrations look at this this is what made me get this too beautiful the wonderful train ride um all right this will probably go with a lot of keywords to do with crafting and like train nurseries and things again for like framing um and then i got a few uh well i'll show you this one 
very famous story. This is from, I think, the 1940s, this one, or very early 1950s, one of the two. Again, very good shape. And then I got these two ones from the 60s, um, mostly in good shape. I do see some pen marks here, which oh, I went back and forth, like, do I get him? Do I not get him? And when I realized it was half price, I thought, okay, I'm going to grab it and go with it just because of the time of year. But, you know, vintage children's books, um, also doubling as like Halloween decor, right? Like vintage Halloween stuff. So I figured I'm going to give that a go and experiment and see if I can sell some of these old spooky books to anyone since that time of year is quickly approaching. Um, this from the 1960s. I'm going to do a little repair job up here. I believe I can do that pretty well. Um, Baba the King. I grew up with Baba the Elephant. I don't know if anybody else did. But anyway, just a beautiful children's book. Um, he's a pretty popular character uh, from my childhood and a bunch of people's childhood, especially in England. I don't know if he's as popular over here, but I figured I would grab him because it was 25 cents. And that was at a yard sale. Um, grab this very pretty, extremely 60s, 70s scarf. <laughs> um, no markings on it, no labels, but that was a book 40 as well. Then there was this super vintage Reebok like windbreaker style thing there's the label oh and there um in good shape I'm going to throw it through the wash anyway just to make sure it's not too musty and stuff but definitely in good shape size medium so that should do okay and then my uh my staples my bread and butter as it were in <laughs> my vintage eyeglasses so these oh i just lost the lens that's okay that's an easy fix <laughs> so there's these frames here it's got like this kind of yellow plastic rim made in italy these are luxottica just an aviator style and then these next ones are the ones that i always grab pretty much no matter what these very very classic 1980 styles i do really well with this style doesn't matter if there's a brand doesn't matter if there's no writing on it at all i do really well with this style so that is my whole haul for this weekend um, a little bit smaller than usual but i'm working really hard to try and get so much of this stuff listed especially from the last few hauls where i have so much stuff so listing 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 um okay uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. I will be back tomorrow with my weekly sales update video for both Etsy and eBay. Um, and guys, thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.